kick Rico out because he made a nacho joke. As we've got Master Gamer representing the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh Go for it, representing the Chargers and those powder blue unis. Uh, to be honest, I believe that's incorrect. I talked to Master before the tournament. He told me he was going to be using the Chargers, running the gun bunch tight end, which he's in right here. So I believe we have Master Gamer in the Chargers uniforms and C4 playing with the Chiefs, Nick. So the, so the powder blues are, are Master Gamer. A little hitch route, Life's, uh, left side near the first down marker. And you're going to see something interesting here. We're playing in, 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 in regs, and you're, you see some different quarterbacks. You're not going to see your Mike Vicks. You're not going to see your Lamar Jackson. Phillip Rivers, the L.A. Chargers, he's got a very interesting throwing motion. Yeah, yeah he's got, kind of got that little sidearm type of action. And I, I don't remember anybody really playing with the Chargers uh, throughout this year when we saw regs action. So I'm going to be interested to see what Matt's bringing to the table here. I mean, they got a tough personnel. Yeah. They got... Gordon is obviously a beast. Keenan Allen. Benjamin gives you a little bit of speed. And then you get to use guys like Hunter Henry, who might have been on the IR and didn't play this NFL season. But you know what? You're allowed to use him in Madden. So that, that's a nice little weapon. That if you ask Stephen to. A. Smith, I think he said Hunter Henry was the most important player. As uh, a little run from Melbourne. <laughs> I there. remember that. that was and nice. don't forget the Chargers defense. Joey Bosa, Derwin James. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a tough defense to play. Casey Hayward's a good corner, too. Second out of five. C4, shooting. I mean, he, he's in this nickel 3 3 5 defense, a little meta type Load defense. Obviously knows what he's Zero. doing, user control in the middle linebacker. Rivers, right side. See that little sidearm, but it gets it out pretty quickly. Looks like he's going to pick up a first down at the 47 yard line. See, Matt, he's in this gun bunch tight end formation. Nick, it's a little bit similar to the. The normal gun bunch that we're, we're used to seeing from a lot of these guys. The only difference is the three wide receivers are all on one side and the tight ends ISOed on his own side. Where in bunch, it's one wide receiver ISOed and two wide receivers next to the tight end. Rivers. Left side corner out wide open. Gets it inbounds. Big play down the field to the 23 yard line. Matt's in business. You gotta, you gotta respect Master Gamer. I mean, he's just a true fan of Madden. I don't think there's been a tournament that I've been to in the last several years where this young man hasn't just shown up to rock out on the sticks. Once again, that gun bunch, three to the right side, the tight end green on the left. Rivers dropping back to pass. Pressure picked up nicely, a little hitch route. Spin move, breaks the tackle inside the 10 to the nine yard line in business. Nine yards out from the first touchdown. Matt looking really good right now. Nice little hitch route, high ball to Benjamin. Has a little speed to get some yak after the catch. Now he's gonna go out in the eye big. 22 personnel here. Expect to see a, a lot of MG3 taking the ball here. He's at the top of the eye formation. Two tight end set, hand it off. Good pursuit by this Kansas City defense. No gain on the play. Yeah, eye big. This is a grown man formation. A lot of beef. When we call it a 22 personnel, Nick, we call it 22 because it has two running backs and two tight ends. Where when you call an 11 personnel, it's because it has one running back, one tight end. So when we go with the numbers to tell you the formation, that's what it means. The first number is the amount of running backs. The second number, the amount of tight ends. And, and if you go with a 55 formation, you have way too many players on the field. As Melvin Gordon, he'll pick up four. Big third and goal. A, 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 sort of a, a, a tone-setting play here on third down. Yeah, absolutely. And it's known to get stingy down here in the red zone. So if you can get yourself a touchdown if you're Matt, it's going to be huge. Just a big chance for C4 to step up, get some momentum. Third down and goal. Two tight ends, two wide receivers. They're going to try to pass it. Rivers, left side, back of the end zone, one-handed. And it's brought down the first touchdown of the DreamHack Madden 19 tournament. Goes to Matster Gamer, up 6-0. That was just a professional drive, huh? I mean, that, that's what you expect to see from, you know, a so-called Madden pro. He just officially moved the ball up the field, took what was given to him, attacked different areas of the field. We saw some runs, some checkdowns underneath, the deep corner route. I mean, that's really good drive right there from Matt. See how C4 can respond, because we do know the strong part of the Chiefs is their offense, not their defense. So this is where C4 is really going to have to make his living. And now maybe the... I don't want to say there's no pressure on C4. You're playing against a, a known player. Not a lot is expected of you here at DreamHack, but maybe a little bit of pressure in-game, knowing that you gave up that early touchdown. 
I, I think it's going to be tough for C4 if he, if he tries to keep up, if he tries to get into a shootout. I feel like that, that edge goes to the professional player in Master Gamer. Yeah, definitely likely. And the other thing is, C4, you see him, he's setting some audibles here. Um, it looked like he was going to go to some gun trips tight end. That's a formation that a guy like Matt is going to be very, very familiar with. He's been playing that formation all year against elite level type competition. So you got to be careful if you see four. Where Matt, on the other hand, he came to this tournament running some gun bunch tight end, which is a popular formation, but not as popular as these gun bunches and trips tight end. So I'm sure he caught C4 a little bit off guard with that one. You see him, he's in a double A gap defense as Matt's right now. We're going to see a lot of the Kansas City Chiefs hey, today here hey, in regs hey, mode. Patty Mahomes at the helm. Conley, Watkins, and Hill on the outside. Travis Kelsey, the tight end, right side of that formation. Watkins in motion from left to right. Good defensive playoff on that. Oh, 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 and it's picked up early. Oh. An early turnover. You don't want to start your tournament that way with a fumble on the first play. How about match the game? It calls man coverage, all out blitz, sniffs out the run, pops him with the head stick. And the Grizzle veteran forces a turnover early, already up 7 0. That's the way you want to start DreamHack if you match it. That's the dream right there. Oh, oh and he's on the, right going the other way! He tried for a high pass, one on one coverage, and C4 says, Not so fast, Ben. I got some moves myself. Oh, if you matched her, what are you doing right there, bro? You're already in field goal range to make it two possessions. You got Melvin Gordon. You just need to pound the rock a little bit. Worst case scenario, you settle for three. Gets greedy, throws the yick, and now C4, you need to respond right here. And the pass is complete. Kelsey breaks one tackle, and ball comes out again. The Chargers, Master Gamer coming out, firing, laying the lumber. Oh, man. Matched her with a mean hit stick right now, but if you see four, you just got yourself a free little extra life. I mean, you have to take advantage of this, Nick. The other thing, once you get hit stick like that early in the game and fumble, it's going to discourage you from running the ball. If you see four, you got to have a short memory and just continue to take what he gives you. Oh, the pressure from the outside. Mahomes Ooh. out of the pocket. It's oh. past the line of scrimmage. It this could pick. be a turnover. <laughs> it's going the other way. It's going to be an illegal forward pass. But the Chargers, Master Gamer said, look legal to me. I'm going to take it to the other side. A second turnover in the first quarter for C4. For C4, huh? That's he was brutal. getting icky right there. Stepped up in the pocket. Avoided the user. He just needed to scramble. Get the first down. Instead, he lets it rip unnecessarily gets the penalty throws the pick gives all the momentum to Matt in a nice little package wrapped with a bow and besides that one pick Mac, Matt has thrown earlier in this game he has looked prolific on offense gun bunch second and inches why not hand off to Melvin Gordon the former Badger he'll pick up another first down that's your gamer a real intent to run the ball early in this tournament. Yeah, he's always been known for having a really strong run game. He has good stick work on the ground. And you know it's going to be tough to stop the run out. This bunch tight end, and there's some really good passing plays out of this formation. He's got the PA crossers play you got to watch out for. You got to watch out for that deep corner route. Buck sale. So it's, it, it's going to be hard for you to, you know what I mean, key in on, on stopping the run when you got so much you have to worry about with the pass game. And the thing that's nice about gun bunch tight end is usually when people run a gun bunch, their only run play is, you know, a, a draw or a base. It's not the greatest run play. I believe in this gun bunch tight end, he has an inside zone, which is a very efficient run play. So it's going to let Matt be pretty efficient with the way he runs this ball. I'm surprised we didn't see more of this gun bunch tight end formation throughout the MCS year. Guys, a reminder, if you want to keep up on brackets and standings, you can go to dh.je slash Madden Dallas. Keep up on all of the standings, the brackets. It's all group play today here on day one of DreamHack. Zero. From Dallas, Texas, second out of four. I mean, why not? Run it again. Look at the patience. Using that real player motion, getting some speed burst. Another first down. And it's clear when you see Matt being able to make those good cuts. You, you know, you and me, we get on the sticks. We're, we're running it's into our linemen. It's a mess. One of these things these pros are so good at doing, Nick, 
is he's not using the turbo button until late in the play. When he gets that ball with the, rap, the halfback, he's not just spamming R2 trying to get on his horse right away. He's w moving the left stick, trying to find a lane, and being patient with that speed boost, which is what the best players do, and it's how you run the ball more efficiently. One of the worst mistakes you can make as a Madden player is hitting that turbo button immediately after the handoff. Now first and 10. Rivers, right side. Toe tap inbounds, pick up a couple. Nice, easy pitch and catch, and you're not seeing too many chances taken by Master Game. It's pretty robotic out there, huh? Just, you know, dinking and dunking, well, taking well, what's well. given to him. And why not Melvin Gordon one more time? Turn on the burners. Give him another nine, eight carries. 46 yards to start out this game, averaging over five yards a carry. Now another first down as the methodical master gamer. Oh, gee. Somebody just tried to play for him. I don't know what that was. Somebody, somebody, somebody just tried. Like, hold on, wait a second. <laughs> first down, okay, yep. Uh -huh. Oh, gosh. Yep, yep. See, this is, uh, you never have this problem playing at home. Something's going on out there. I'm Listen, trying to get a read on it, but I, I don't know what's going on there. Someone's hitting in the PS button. Why are we hitting in the PS button? <laughs> this player's just, what's happening? Is someone, uh -oh. oh gosh. Uh -oh. Don't turn off, don't, the, don't don't hit turn off the console. Whoever it is. Admin. Here's an admin. <laughs> admin Thank run. God. Right, admin in, right in time. There we go. There we go. That was, uh, that's my great. guy Fizzy right there. That, that, that's our admin, Alex, a.k.a. Fizzy. What a great admin team we have here at DreamHack. I'm sure all 96 players in this tournament are all set up. Listen, I know you're down 7-0. This is not the time to hit the PS button, quit out of the game. <laughs> you can't do that. You got to just play through it, man. It's group play. <laughs> Accidentally kick the cord out of, out of the console Wait, when things don't go your way. Turning off the PS4. Just... Look at Master. <laughs> Look at Master. Another meme for the Master. Just shake. What? What can you do but shake your head? I tell you what, Nick. Uh, us talking about the Chipotle and then having it right up there on screen. Thank go Thank goodness they took the Chipotle off screen right there because it's been on my mind. Yeah, it's a good thing it's not closer because RG would be calling this game solo while I chop down on a burrito over there. What's up, Rico? It's, we're trying to fi figure it out what's going on. It's, it's first ever Madden tournament here at DreamHack. Figuring yeah. out who turned off the PlayStation. That could be the, the, the story we follow the entire way. Who, <laughs> who turned it off? Because that's, that's a bit of this tournament as they are back up. Nice. Nothing's turned off. Everything's right. They're paused, but I'm not scared about it. Controllers seem to be correct. I think we're ready to get back to Madden. This is smart. He's, go he's going, he's checking his settings after. This is exactly what you want to do. If you have a delay like this or your controller got moved over, make sure to go into the settings. Make sure everything's the way that you had it before because you don't want to be one of those guys that's complaining about something after the fact. It's a veteran move right there. So if you're just joining us, Master Gamer is the Los Angeles Chargers. And C4 go for it as the Kansas City Chiefs. It's flipped on the screen. As they got to get back into their audibles. It's the tough part about loading back in. Is you got you to redo your audibles. But it's an important part of the game. As uh, anybody who's watched competitive Madden before. Um, as it is also 100% terrifying. Did they load back? I don't know if they loaded like back. I think the game stayed intact the whole time. Because they're playing offline on the on Yeah, the there game was just console. some controller issues, I I'm thinking. Somebody had a PlayStation controller and decided to wreak some havoc. Make themselves known. Look at Matt. He's still locked in. You, you can't. Things like that happen. You got to get right back into the game. Gotta love my guy, Matt. And he, he's just such a passionate Madden gamer. I mean, he's a guy that he's in it to win it. Uh, he shows up to the events ready, but he also shows up to these events just for the love of the sport, the love of the community. Um, you, you can tell it's just something he's so passionate about, and he just genuinely loves being in this atmosphere. It, it truly reminds me of a, 
a similar attitude to the way I had back when I played. Sometimes the tournament's cool and playing's a big deal, but also just being in the atmosphere and being around your friends and just seeing what's going on in the community you love is also a big deal. Yeah, it's really cool seeing these guys who, you know, in person maybe only see each other three, four, five times a year, but they are so tight. This community is so tight knit, especially after this year. We, you got you got friendships being built each and every tournament. And there are gonna be some new ones out there because there's some new faces. Yeah, and DreamHack's a beautiful thing for that. It, it allows so many gamers from all walks hey, of life, from all games, all types of communities to come to one place where hey, we easy, can interact, easy. have Pretty fun, high. share our passion. That's what gaming's all about, and huge shout out to DreamHack you know, for helping make that happen. And big shout out to the admin team getting these guys set back up. 7-0, Master Gamer on top. 351 to go in the second quarter. Reminder, $25,000 prize pool. 12,500 to the winner, 7,500 to second place, third and fourth. Get 2,500 each, so some real guap on the line. Here at DreamHack's first ever Madden tournament. Hope to see many more. At DreamHack festivals around the, the country, around the world. Three out of five for Master Gamer. Dropping back, Rivers underneath, has a man. That's an easy first down, and then not a first down, and then he picked up a first down again, the 25-yard line. <laughs> yeah, Matt definitely looking good. And he said, just a little shout out to DreamHack. I mean, for these guys, I'm being told it's their 25th anniversary for DreamHack. They've been going hard. I believe 1994, Nick. I mean, this is an event that started in a school cafeteria in Sweden, and now it's grown into this huge, humongous thing. It's just amazing. And it's so awesome seeing first ever Madden tournament at DreamHack, a full 96 player field with a waiting list. There are players oh, yeah. in here that wanted to play, and there's just no room for them. That's, that's awesome to see. I, last I heard, the defendant Madden Challenge champion Kratobin was on the waiting list. Left, left, left. DreamHack knows no names. You gotta sign up early. Seven nothing. Master Gamer on top. Hopefully my guy Kratobin got it. And that's gonna be a real treat. We, we definitely would love to see him on the sticks. He's obviously one of the best players in the world. Another underneath pass. Nine of 10, 88 yards. You see those numbers. Nine passes, 88 yards. Less than 10 yards per completion. It's really methodical working down the field. Yeah, Matt, just he just looks so comfortable out there. I, I, I felt like C4 had a huge opportunity to put the pressure on Matt after Matt threw that, that really bad interception being in field goal range where he could have made it two possessions. But C4 just not able to capitalize, and Matt just back to looking you know, as comfortable as he is when he's just playing at home on his couch. And look at that balance. 10 passes, 10 rushes. For Master Gamer, eye formation. Plus to right. And Gordon at the top of the eye. Why not give him to the fullback? Diving forward. Watt picks up six, laying out for every single yard. You see Matt, he's just going to continue to milk that clock up there. Take time away from C4. And I thought, Matt, I'm really considering just, just running this ball another two straight times, trying to get in for six. If I don't, I'll gladly take my three, make this two possessions. Now second and four. Hey, Delta, See, he snaps the ball before the two-minute warning. Ready. Probably going to a two-minute warning. Nope. Oh, he's, he's aggressive. Not going to pick up anything there as Gordon just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Two-minute warning. That's a good shot. Boy, it would be a huge confidence boost for C4 if he can hold him to a field goal on third and four. Let's go, D. Let's go, D. C4 right now making some formation subs in this nickel 3-3-5. Three, three, that shows you just because you don't know the name doesn't mean they don't know the game. As C4 knows exactly where he wants players. We saw this formation. We saw a little corner out touchdown last time. Does he have it again? Back in the end zone. High pass. Bring it down. It's been money for Master Gamer as another touchdown for the Chargers. Matt just getting his guys open. He, he's throwing through a receiver that has a step on the defender. And when you get a receiver open in space like that, you know, they got the positional advantage. It's going to increase their chances of holding on to the ball. Matt obviously gets him to that point with the corner route, gets a second touchdown off of that route. And now if you see four, you really, really need to respond right here. The worst thing you can do with a minute 57 seconds left is let Matt even get the ball back again and give him an opportunity to make a three possession. Yeah, this could be 
what might be the crucial drive of the game. If C4 can get any sort of points, get any Black sort of momentum. Had two turnovers on two drives. They go three for three, really keeping it in his own team's hands. First down and 10. We're not running. And what we've seen early from this Chargers defense, RG, is just, it's been hard hitting. Looking for fumbles, looking for big hit sticks. I, I just get nervous for a guy like C4 when I, uh, I see him running, you know, gun trips tight end against a guy like Matt, because like I said earlier, you just have to figure Matt has just practiced against this formation so much against such elite competition. It's really going to be hard for C4 to catch him off guard with anything he isn't prepared for. Buck 42 to go in the first half. It's 14-0. Matt just subbed Derwin James in at that linebacker position. If you're looking up at the top, those, those names are flipped. It is Matt Skukamer as the LA Chargers. A lot of people at home might be thinking it's a big upset. That's, it's a match for game. Top four in the classic for a reason. Second and seven for C4. Big hit as he threw and lucky. And that fell where there was no defender waiting to catch it. It's a big third down coming up. This is huge. This is what I talked about just a few seconds ago, Nick. Uh, he doesn't get this. He's going to be in a fourth down situation where if he doesn't get that, Matt's already in field goal range. Easy three possession ball game. You're really digging yourself in a hole right here if you're my guy C4. Third down and seven. Patty Mahomes at the helm. Driving back to pass. Looks right side. A little flat route. Oh, Stays there you in go. bounds. Ah, oh, big play to stay. Keep the toes in play. It's a first down for C4. Maybe that settles them down a little bit. Yeah, that, that, that's what you need right there. Big first down. Still got the rock. Now, now you're rolling. Problem is, is he going up against Hoodie Matt? Matt's hoodied up right now. That's, that's how you know he's intense. He's yeah, Hoodie Matt, can, Hoodie Matt can be help. Play action pass. Mahomes. He's dropping back way too far. There's good coverage down the field, but maybe a little bit of nerves here. Playing on the big stage. Just doesn't seem like he's in any sort of rhythm offensively. It's interesting what Matt's doing. He, he, he's, he's calling the double A gap, but then he gets those linebackers out of the mug look by shifting them up. And it looks more like a, a traditional nickel uh, type of defense. But he, he's really coming out in that double-A gap, but he's just not using it with the linebackers in those gaps. Out of the pocket, looking at the corner route. Not there. Another third down upcoming. You're seeing because of that, because those middle linebackers drop back, the edge rushers are a little wider, and there's a lot of speed on the defensive line for the LA Chargers. Oh, Ingram and Bosa, I mean, it's probably the best... Besides Watt and Clowney, it's, it's probably the best. Yeah. Uh... Third down at 10. Hill in motion from left to right. Williams in the backfield on the right hip of Patty Mahomes. C4 looking to cut into this 14 nothing lead. Play action pass. He will look underneath, a little spin move. Kelsey pick up a chunk of it, now big fourth down. He's hurrying up, this is big for him. I don't believe we're playing with any mercy rule in this, too. No. And, and an interesting part about this tournament, I was talking with the admins, uh, when you're looking at tiebreakers in the group play, and we're only in this first game of the groups, head-to-head, -head, yep. then it's points scored, yeah, I like then that. it's points allowed. The point differential gets uh, gets muddy sometimes. Sometimes net points is pretty cool. I don't, I don't know if I've ever been a part of a tournament where just net points has been... Uh, a factor. Putting a premium on offense. Putting a premium yeah, on... Yeah, exactly. No, no need to run the ball on the fourth quarter. Get your points. Fourth oh, five. Can he get there? Oh, Big spin move. Big double spin. It'll pick up a first down at the 39. C4 showing off the stick skill. Yeah, show us something, C4. Show us something. How you moving? Go, go, go. Cody Matt locked in. Play action pass. Mahomes underneath. Out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Five and nine, 47 yards, a pick. There's been a fumble, but man, you score a touchdown here, it's a whole new ball game. And I believe C4 gets the ball to start the second half, Nick. Yes. Yeah, Matt yeah. opened Matt, up with Matt a nice with scoring drive. Real methodical drive. Z, Z, Got the stop Z, Z, and then threw the pick right back. Z, 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 Z. And then C4 threw the pick, Matt scored, and here we are. Oh, boom! You can't. You can't throw into the middle of this Chargers defense like that. It's reckless. 
especially when you got Derwin James at linebacker. Boy, how impressive is Derwin James? He's going to be fun to play with he's next a Madden. He's a Madden fan. He followed me on Twitter after, uh, I believe hey, it was the Madden Challenge. Hey, he, Derwin, he give me a follow. He had to been watching it live because, uh, you know, he, I, I don't know why else he would give me a follow. But, yeah, he seems to be a big Madden fan. Followed Skimbo as, uh, Skimbo as well. But everyone follows hey, Michael Skimbo. Hey. I mean, how could you yeah, not? Absolutely. Third down and four. I've seen Kofi oh, Kingston oh. hooked them up with some ringside. Front, front row tickets. Front row. Uh oh, pressure coming down. Oh, Goes man. Mahomes. No, Joseph four. Bosa. He's got a pretty good brother who's coming into the NFL, too. Those two are going to wreak havoc on yeah, quarterbacks they, in Madden 20. Be interesting. Those Niners, they got, they got an interesting team. And now. Yeah. Fourth and 14, you gotta go for it here. Oh, gee. But we haven't seen any completions really beyond about five yards from the line of scrimmage. Can C4 find something we deep? Yeah, we've seen Matt with one Green, deep corner nine. out. I mean, in this formation, you gotta watch the deep cross route uh, from circle. Triangle could run a post or a corner. It's probably gonna send that motion Conley vertical. C4 needing this. Pressure. Down goes Mahomes. The defense gets there. Melvin Ingram with the sack. It's a turnover on downs. And Master Gamer has an opportunity to really step on the throat of C4 with great field position with 31 seconds left. Yeah, Matt, all you need right here is a field goal. I mean, if you're any type of high-level Madden player and you get the three-possession lead at any point outside of the first quarter, I mean, even sometimes quarter. in the first quarter. Got him over the top. He's got room. Ten, five, tackled at the one-yard line, saving a touchdown, but half-yard away from going up three scores. Uh, that's huge right there for Matt. He's now went from trying to get three, might get himself seven, 21 zip. In some places, that's considered skunk rule. Sometimes it's considered skunk double if you got a little wager on the game. Not, not where you want to be if you're C4. Sometimes Madden gives you that, hey, man, you're playing somebody really tough. Should we find you something easier message? That's never fun. I've gotten that way too many times online. First and goal, diving in, touchdown. Master Gamer opening up a can here in the game one of DreamHack's Madden 19 tournament group play. It's going swimmingly early from the top four player from the Madden Classic Master Game up 21-0. If you see four, just continue to play. Uh, when you're a lesser known player, you really have to take these experiences and learn from them, Nick. Even if you don't win, you could win from the experience by just taking it with you. And again, just learning from it. If you show up to a Madden tournament and you can't walk away saying, hey, there's something I need to work on or I should have worked on this or I should have improved than that, uh, you're doing it completely wrong. I remember a guy like Little Man before he became, you know, one of the top level players. He'd, he'd show up to every Madden challenge almost. Uh, he, he, some, it seemed like he would lose, you know, somewhat early, but he'd stay till the very end and watch what was going on and, and to study and just to take as much information with him as he could. And now here he is, you know, a, a staple in our MCS tournaments that you, that you see often. We all, we all start off in the same place. Oh, he's going to chuck it up, try to make something happen downfield. Oh, it's caught at the 17-yard no line. No timeouts. No timeouts. Got to get a field goal unit out there. But what a play down the field. Tyreek Hill with the catch. A chuck and a prayer, and your prayer was answered. You got to be watch out. Matt's been known to block kicks. Oh, he, uh, he just jumped it early. Yeah. Kick that is up. smart. Sneak in the right upright. Halftime. Smart by C4 to hold that button down. There. Especially with so little time on the clock, it can be nerve-wracking yeah, to hold that exactly, button. Exactly, exactly. But you saw it. Matt was ready to just time it as soon as that accuracy stopped. Had C4 not hold that button down, Matt might have got the perfect jump he needed to block that kick. 21-3, to three, your score at the half. C4 going to get the ball to start the second half. You see the disparity in yards, 210 for Master Gamer, 94 for C4. And a lot of it was on that last passing play. That was, that was a 50-yard pass. Yeah, you're right. This is, I'm interested to see, is Matt going to be able to continue his offensive dominance with Phillip Rivers? I mean, he has no mobility out there. What, what's his offense going to look like when, you know, people start sending the goons at him? Thrown forward to the 29-yard line. Picking up four. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us. We're with you till 
into the night here in Dallas. I think we're going till 8.30 Eastern time, maybe a little later, depending on how these games run. We got some long days here, but you know what, Nick? Sitting here, we're calling competitive Madden, you know, helping to grow the community, helping to grow the sport. Nothing more I'd rather be doing. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams, he's over on the couch by the lighted tree. The lighted tree is very distracting. It is incredibly distracting. First down at 10. That's just a throw away. Boy, the coverage downfield is really throwing C4 for a loop. Nobody open. This double A gap's looking tough. We, we've seen T. Davis run this uh, earlier in the MCS year. Had some success against Young Kiv. This is actually the defense he was running when he beat Young Kiv and knocked him out of the club championship. Well, one of the, the seminal moments of the MCS season, watching T. Davis get mobbed after that win. That was, that was special, huh? As cool as it gets, man. Third and short, C4. I think we see a run here. Trying to pick up about six inches. Watkins now out wide left. It's a play action, gonna look to throw, free rusher. Nobody home, fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. It's so it, tough when you roll out that way and there's not a single route going that way. Yeah. You just got no choice. Well, as the pressure came from the left side, so he had nowhere else to go. I, I understand going for a shot on second and inches, third and inches. Um, it, it is a good time to try to pick up, pick up a big chunk of yardage, especially when your offense has been struggling. Um, I just wish he tried to do it from a different formation than that gun trips tight end. Matt is obviously ready for it. Oh, no, you know Matt's going to have sneak deep too. Sneak defense, too. Left, 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 left. It is that oh, sneak. Ball's oh, out. God. Oh, but it's picked up by one of the, the big hogs on the offensive line. That's wow. just how good these players are. When a casual player is playing and someone calls QB sneak, first down. free one yard. Though he got the first down right there, he got it after Matt cracked him with a hit stick, forced a fumble, almost made him turn the ball over. And, you know, when you're dealing with the player, the level of match the gamer, that's just how, you know, in tune they are. Any situation they get into, they're going to have a setup or a play to help them be successful in that situation. And you're seeing, you're seeing so many successful hit sticks, which when you look at the casual player, I mean, that's where I struggle is I'll go for a hit stick, I'll completely whiff, and he's already downfield. These guys lock in, and it seems like it is some of the highest percentage of hits, and that's why you're seeing a lot of fumbles. Mm. Ooh. Oh, oh. See, there's another one right there. Yeah, Matt, Matt's popping C4 all over the field. C4 continuing to move to rock, though. 238 and counting in the third quarter. It is 21 to 3, Master Gamer on top. Play action pass. Haven't seen this work for him at all yet. Finally makes a read down the field. That's Tyree Kill with the catch to the 14-yard line. I think that's the first time we've seen that play be successful outside of the underneath drag route. What do you think, Chad? Is C4 going to get on the board with a touchdown here? Give me a one for touchdown, two for no points, and three if he settles for a field goal. That's a big play on first down. The defensive line converging. I love interacting with the chat. Man, chat is fun, man. There are a lot of people passionate about this game. Getting amped. EA play next week. People are going to get their first taste of Madden 20 out in Los Angeles. Yeah, that's going to be fun. I can't, I can't wait to see what people think about it, get their hands on the game. Uh, I've been playing for, you know, the last several months, obviously working on the development team, and uh, I'm, excited, I'm very, very excited for Madden 20 this year. A lot of hype on Twitter. A lot of people very optimistic. Hearing that those, seeing those broadcasts come out, it's a big deal. People love seeing the information. Oh. Looking right at the seam. Nope. Almost picked off. He's going to settle for the three. Threes have it. I'll tell you what, this guy Mahomes in Madden 20, I know I can't like spill the beans about it. To, he is nasty. Flag down. Twenty-one to six, but now you get to the. And this is what, what's been interesting about this game. Master Gamer has been sort of methodically working way down the field. It hasn't been big chunks of yards. 
if C4 can find a way to get a stop, start a key on on that, maybe some hard flats, get get some defense, get a touchdown. All of a sudden, it's a one-score game oh, in the fourth quarter. Pick six, fumble six, we got ball game. Easier said than done, though, is the problem for C4. Especially when you have a guy like Melvin Gordon on the outside. Well, he's, he's, he's spinning a lot out there. I mean, the more ball carrier moves you do like that, you're, you're going to leave yourself susceptible to some big hits, potentially. Spinning and winning. Could be the tagline for Madden 19. Second and five. Hey, Rocket, stay there, stay there. Rivers at the helm for Master Gamer. Once again, out of this gun bunch, Melvin Gordon on his left hip. And now you see Master Gamer, the veteran. He's gonna use this play clock. No need to give more time on the clock, especially when you're up by two scores. Note this down under 10 seconds. All you players at home, clock management. That's why these guys are pros. Hand off to Gordon once again. Oh, Big hit. Oh. Loses the yard, third down. Looks like it's going to be the final play. Unlike the MCS, by the way, it, you might be, if you watch some of the MCS games, you might see a little difference here. Uh, they got a full 40-second play clock here at DreamHack. It's not the 30-second shortened play clock that you see in the MCS. So that shortens some of these games. Yeah, and you know, back when I played, every tournament was a 40-second play clock, Nick. And some of these guys, they can just get so masterful with that play clock and really limit possessions. It, it, it really just becomes a, a game of picking up first downs when you're dealing with those type of players. And it got to the point where the guys were just so masterful with that play clock that we had, we did have to switch it to a 30-second play clock just to, you know, make it so there's more action and more plays run. To this day, it's, it's one of my favorite changes was the MCS switching to that 30-second play clock. All right, y'all. Put your fours up in the chat. It's fourth quarter, game number one of DreamHacks. Madden 19, the first Madden tournament hosted by DreamHack. We got 96 players here fighting for a $25,000 prize pool. Buffalo Wall. 21 to six, Master Gamer on top. And driving. We're five minutes away to find out who's gonna be one and oh in group play. Hand off, Gordon. The speed on the outside. They'll pick up a good chunk of yards. Give him seven to the 32 yard line. And he stays in bounds to keep that clock rolling. You know, Matt's just going to continue to milk this clock. 21 to 6. You're not going to see Matt's gamer with the ball here. He's not going to snap this until three, two seconds on the play clock because when you're up 14 points, that's the luxury you have. You want to shorten this game, and oh, if something happens, you don't want to have a lot of time on the clock. I see my guy Robbie Robs in the chat. He's asking, is this the Miami Dolphins offense from Matster? Yes, I believe he is running the Miami Dolphins offensive playbook, which Good eye. is also Gordon his favorite team. 15, 10, oh, got a step to the one yard line, a little stop that and was go nasty. Oh, Master Gamer. Every time I try to do that, I end up just getting clobbered. Master Gamer showing off the stick skills. Drag's telling Robbie Robs to, to hop out of Matt's game room. So that Miami <laughs> offense is for Matt. Hey, Rocket. But this is why we watch. I mean, if you're not watching, trying to pick up on the scum tactics, you ain't doing it right. Woo. Oh, man. Patience. Patience in the backfield. Dance on them as the Chargers and Matster Gamer. They've blown this game open 27 to 6. It's been a dominant defensive performance, it's been a dominant offensive performance. And Master Gamer might be, I could be wrong, I've seen a lot of these guys, he might be one of the, the top five runners in the game, how patient he is behind the line of scrimmage. Oh yeah, Matt's always had a really strong running game. I believe it was Madden 18, was it, where he had his tight slots, the more pitch, he was running a lot of pitch, a lot of dive. Him and Stevie J were some of the best run games that year. That's what's cool about Madden, too. A lot of your skills year over year, even though it's a new game, they'll transition over. 28 to 6. Master Gamer on top. What a turnout here in Dallas for DreamHack, not just for Madden, but the lines outside were absolutely nuts. Everybody's excited to be here. We hope you're excited at home. Nick Mazesco, RG on the call, Rico Williams. He's on the couch right now, just chilling. You know what I want to know from, from our people watching at home, seeing as Chipotle's 
I want Deep pass. He's chucking it up. Ooh. Ooh. Seeing as Chipotle is the sponsor, Nick, what are you guys doing in the chat? Give me one if you're a burrito guy. Give me two if you're a bowl guy. Or give me three if you're a tacos guy at Chipotle. What is it? Give me one for burrito, two for the bowl, and three for the tacos. I need to see where y'all heads are at. And underneath, that's Travis Kelsey. I got gun fused. Going with a two. Bowl guy. I, hey, listen, I'm non-discriminatory when it comes to Chipotle, especially when somebody's paying. I'll just take whatever. Sometimes I'll even go with the quesadilla. That prime time says he's never eaten at Chipotle. Whoa! 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 whoa. 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 It might be the most offensive thing I've ever heard in chat. Bro, why don't you just go do it today? Right now. Break the ice. Everyone, Get a popping. Down at the three-minute mark in this game. Nats are camera up 28 to 6. C4 looking to make some noise. Looking for that crossing route. Nobody home. 14 to 26, 183 and a pick for C4. A lot of sacks. I think we've seen four sacks from the Chargers and Master Gamer. Saw a fumble on the first drive. And the biggest thing has just been controlling time of possession. Matt's held the ball. We've seen 10, 11, 13 play drives working down the field. Third and 10 for C4. Patty M in the shotgun. Play action pass. Uh-oh, there's that pressure once again. It gets it off. Finding Travis Kelsey. Can bring up a fourth down, an opportunity to slam the door. Left, left, no, I think left. the door's probably closed already, but an opportunity to really slam that door for Master Gamer. Yeah, the door's been closed. Man. Pretty sure it's slammed, too. Oh. <laughs> it's the hits. The hits, it's like the top. You said it, too. It, there is differences to it. Like, sometimes people get into the argument, oh, the skill gap and that. Trust me. There's some skill gap there, because if you ever seen me try to hit stick and you watch a guy like Matt, you can tell there's levels. There's, there's levels. There's talent. Left, 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 left. C4's still fighting. He knows those points are important. Near the two-minute warning. Play action. Mahomes. Left side. He's going to be looking for that. Right up the scene. Play. There it is. Ooh. <laughs> there's another one. Oh, my. The... The hitting is out of control here. You're like you're trying to build a treehouse with all the lumber. First and goal. Be able to build that treehouse two times over. High pass. Good defensive play. Even just for a little confidence here, RG. Getting a, C4 getting a touchdown could be big for the next two games in the group. Yeah, moral victory. Every now and then you got to go for him. Not ideal. Mahomes. Oh, well, hitch route. You get a good chunk of that back. Chris Conley with the catch. Or uh, Sammy Watkins with the catch. I see him in the chat. Drag's got him now arguing if, if, if do you go ground beef or chicken in your tacos. Okay, well, there's no ground beef at Chipotle, so don't be a liar. That means you're going to Kidoba. Well, these are like homemade tacos at that point. Oh, ground beef if I'm making them at home. Just because I didn't trust myself. Oh, chicken. I love it, oh my God. I, I can mess with any of the meat at, at Chipotle. I've had I've had everything. I've had blackened chicken tacos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Blackened seasoning. Uh, blackened anything. A, it, it's a very underrated seasoning. Blackened salmon. That's my jam. That's good stuff. Right That's there. my jam. If you were expecting to, uh, if, if, if you like hearing about food, you're going to hear about it a lot over the next three days. RG and I get hungry up here. High pass. Back in the end zone. No can do, sir. It Turn run downs. I mean, when you got the 28-6 game, it doesn't help either. I, I, it's going to happen. I, I understand that, you know, some of these games are going to be blowouts, but I'm waiting for those dog fights, Nick. Oh, they're going to be here. I want the battles. Okay. Going to be here. Don't worry. Don't you worry. It looks like Master Gamer is going to be, well... I was about to say, it looks like he's about to run it out, but C4, he's, he's going to keep fighting. Andy Reid looks good on the sidelines. He's looking slim, looking fit on the sidelines. Zero. Again, I, I hope this game just doesn't, you know, um, discourage C4. We've all been there. You know, you, you get up, you, you get matched up against a guy with so much experience and matched a gamer. And, 
again, you just need to really treat this as a learning experience. Don't let yourself get too discouraged. Twenty-eight to six. Second timeout taken by C4. Master Gamer looking. He's gonna be going one and zero to start out group play here at DreamHack Dallas. Yo, now the chat is getting there. They went from the chicken and ground beef to now we're talking chorizo. Well, let's see. That's you start talking chorizo, move. you start talking Argy's language. Big on the chorizo. I made uh, 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 last weekend. I made uh, some burgers. I, uh, I I made some burgers. Uh, it was 80% uh, sirloin, 20% chorizo. Put it on the grill. Chorizo's money. What, Rico? You guys Rico's like, looking yeah, at me like there's something like, wrong. What's wrong with, with chorizo? Like in chorizo. He has nothing to say. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Because he knows he's wrong. He knows he's wrong. Hey, 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 this this hey, thing hey, is hey. terrifying. Huck. Yeah. First and 10. C4. That's going to be a penalty. That's intentional grounding. No way. Rico's over here giving me a hard time about chorizo. I'm not having it. Oh, look at this one. Big Kev talking chicken chorizo with some cheese. Oh, what up, Kev's in the chat? What's up, Dubers? Good to see you, man. Oh, my NBL guys. Shout out to the NBL. Same 23. Oh. Maybe I need to get into one of those leagues one time, huh? Rico's talking about getting into the NBL as well, huh? Rico gets an invite, but I don't get an invite. Application denied. Rico or me? R RG's always all out in. I'm allowed. Rico's going to cause too much trouble in the chat. I'm a free win for whoever gets I've, I've seen what you do to strafing on Twitter. You're not allowed in the chat. Third and long, chuck it up, hope for something. Nobody home. Throw the towel. Oh, there's only 23 seconds left. 23 seconds, fourth and 23. You're down 23, minus one. Game one of group action. Stick with us. We'll be with you all day long. Non-stop Madden. Day one here from DreamHack Dallas. Fourth and long. Shocking a prayer. It's not answered. Living on a prayer. Whoa. Shout out to, shout out to JBJ. 36 passes for C4. Only four rushes. And that first rush was a fumble. Gordon with the run. I'm interested to see who we're going to get in our next matchup here. Go, 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 run run. As the clock's going to run out. Triple zeros. Okay, well, timeout taken. Because points matter. He's going to attempt a field goal here from 30. Savage. This is just a savage move right here. I understand it. I respect it. Doesn't it's mean savage. it's not savage. It's savage. Who knows what those, those points could come down to as... Net Perfect points. Pick, too. That's beautiful. It's up. It's good. Zero's up on the clock. Final score, 31-6. to six. Master Gamer goes 1-0 in groups.